Hello, I'm Brian Hill, and this is what I'm calling Lecture Zero in our Flip Classroom series for Physics One. I don't usually dress up this much. Today, um, I'm going to the funeral of Professor Ronald Olowen, who about 30 years ago established the physics department separately from what was then sort of an umbrella department, originally an umbrella department called the uh, Department of Mathematical Sciences. In this lecture, which I'm calling Lecture Zero because it really doesn't have any physics content, I'm just going to cover the syllabus. And when I say cover, I'm going to highlight key parts. You. Uh, need to have the six-page syllabus, which I will hand out hard copy of on the first day. Or, right now, if you're watching this before the first day, you can go to physics.stmarys-ca.edu. That's physics.stmarys-ca.edu. Scroll down a ways, uh, well, you'll find a list of all the faculty, you'll find a list of all the courses we're teaching this semester, and uh, one of those courses is, is Physics One. and if you click on that, you'll get this syllabus in online form. And the nice thing about the online form, of course, is all the links are, to other pages are live in the online form, uh, which actually makes it a lot more useful than the six-page printed form. Uh, my office location is linked there. It's Galileo 103B. Sometime during this semester, you should take advantage of office hours. And uh, many times during the semester, you should take advantage of office hours. But at minimum, you should get to know a little bit your professor, and I should get to know a little bit you. There's 51 of you in the two sections. I am simply not going to be able to get to know you in the two classes. Uh, so office hours are a great place for me to learn more from you individually. How will this class is look, working for you? Uh, what your goals are? Um, what things I might have uh, overlooked in the presentation? Um, yeah, so come to Galileo 103B. I share the office with Scott Reckinger. Okay, let's go on to page two of the syllabus. That's the course materials. Um, not a lot to say there, except um, the campus bookstore has a discounted price on all the course materials, which if you tried to buy them one by one, would probably cost $400. Um, yeah, so the campus bookstore has at least 30% off of that if you buy the bundle. Next section, flipped classroom. We're already doing flipped classroom. You are, instead of using class time to go over to listen to lecture, which is kind of a one-way street, um, and to read the material, we're gonna use class time for problems, which is a very two-way street and is uh, demonstrated to be a much more effective way of learning introductory physics. It is also unfortunately a disorienting and non-traditional way of learning introductory physics. Um, if you find yourself feeling disoriented and you don't understand why we're doing flipped classroom and you don't know how poorly <laughs> um, the traditional method is work. You could uh, click through one of the links in here and uh, to see how much better the outcomes are using flipped classroom. That said, when you give up that rudder of long lectures, which may be boring, but at least sort of feel secure, and uh, copying down key sentences from that, uh, when you give up that uh, rudder or sense of bearings um, and actually dive into what you really need to be doing which is solving problems it is disorienting schedule the schedule is frighteningly fast we need to cover 17 chapters if 
you count up the number of weeks in the semester, we have 14, but we actually have uh, more than four lectures, actually seven lectures off for Labor Day, midterm break after the midterm, second midterm, and uh, Thanksgiving. So actually, if you figure it out, we really have less than 13 weeks. And when you take the days out for the midterms themselves, we're down to 49 classes. Uh, minus three is 46 classes. 46 classes to cover 17 chapters. Uh, to think about that, uh, 13 of the chapters we can spend three days on, but four of the chapters will have to be covered in only two days. Assessment and expectations. Uh, that's kind of the meat of a lot of syllabus um, statements. Um, it's how the course will be graded. Uh, you can read through that. It's 15% for the homework, 20% on each of the three midterms, and 25% on the final. You can throw out your lowest midterm and replace its percentage with your final percentage. However, keep in mind that if you rely on that, then the 20% from the midterm that you're, whose score you're replacing, plus the 25% that the final already counts, means that you have 45% of your grade riding on the final. So it's a bad strategy to count on doing better on the final than on the lowest of your three midterms. And it's a much better strategy to nail every midterm and then coast into the final. All right. Um, there's some other stuff here about absences and the kinds of questions um, I like to get and the kinds of questions I don't like to get. Um, go through that, please. And then there's an entire page on advice. Wow. Um, it's basically a pep talk for why uh, introductory physics, if you're a STEM major, is the most important class and the class you should be throwing fully like half your um, time and effort this semester into. An interesting misconception that I often hear, uh, that many physics professors hear, is I understand the material but I can't do the problems. Okay, so I have a, an italicized sentence in the syllabus that says, Physics is about being able to solve a wide variety of problems, starting from a small number of principles. Solving a wide variety of problems, starting from a small number of principles. Physics is solving problems. So if you say, I understand the material, but I can't solve the problems, you're not doing physics. You need to figure out how to make that leap into being able to solve problems with the theoretical material. And that's why we're gonna spend so much time, I'm gonna help you with that leap, we're gonna spend so much time in class solving problems. And you're gonna spend a lot of time outside of class solving problems, and you're gonna spend a rather small amount of time listening to these uh, pre-recorded lectures. Okay, there's a few more things on the last couple of pages. Um, STEM Center tutoring. We have the good fortune to be the recipient of a large grant, and that grant created the STEM Center, so uh, read about how to avail yourself of that. Similarly, student disability services. Um, let them know what uh, disabilities you might have, and uh, I will work with them to make sure that uh, we can properly accommodate you. And finally, mission. It's at the bottom of the last page. Um, John Baptiste de la Salle dedicated himself to serving students who could not afford the private tutoring that was the primary, primary form of education in his day. St. Mary's is an heir to its, that mission and its faculty and staff are entrusted with carrying it out. It is my goal to make each of you feel and know that you are valued and belong regardless of your background or demographic. Please let me know if I am falling short in that. We all have blinders. I am constantly re-examining and trying to correct my own. 
A syllabus is not the place to enumerate all the ways the physics faculty go out of their way to make everyone successful. We're in the business of teaching and doing physics, and almost all of the time you will hear us talking about physics. Please we ass be assured that we take the St. Mary's mission very seriously, even when we aren't talking about it. Thank you.